Hello, Facebook fans and YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's four o'clock here in the Eastern Time Zone in the USA, 20 Zulu. It's time for the weekend special here at K3LR. And I'm still uh, sitting at the 15 meter positions. And uh, you can see that Geochron uh, behind me is uh, almost dead vertical now. The uh, sunrise, sunset almost goes straight up and down. And of course, that means that we're coming up on the equinox, which is next week. And it will be perfectly uh, uh, straight <laughs> next week. So as uh, the first day of autumn here in the uh, Northern Hemisphere uh, starts. So that, uh, and boy, you know, first day of autumn uh, this weekend, I'm gonna be working on getting my 160 meter receive antennas uh, going. And we'll be doing some videos uh, during that process so that uh, we'll share that with you. I try to, I try to keep uh, things like the buffer amplifiers on the short verticals. Um, I keep them uh, packed away so that they don't get hit by lightning during the summer. But I'm gonna just take a bet that the lightning storms are over for this year. And I'm anxious to get back on 160 meters and 80 meters and uh, start having some fun in the evenings and in the early mornings, uh, 160 has been open to uh, Australia. Lots of stations in the US have reported uh, good QSOs with Australia. Uh, so that'll be exciting. Um, from the uh, K3LR mailbag uh, over the week, um, I, got, I had referenced a connector known as the PL258. What is a PL258? Well, PL258 is a double female. It has two female ports on it, so you can join two male connectors together. And uh, the question was, how much loss does this introduce to your system? And uh, the answer is very, very small. It's very little loss, uh, even up to, through two meters and uh, even up through 70 centimeters. So as long as you have a good quality one, I've seen some of these where they fall apart and uh, the center dielectric will fall out. Uh, sometimes they use uh, a little uh, small piece of wire inside. Uh, this, this one is made by Amphenol. Maybe you can see the printing on it. Um, yes, you pay a little bit more for these Amphenol connectors, but in the end of the day, they work really well, and uh, I don't have to worry about a bad connection. So I always like to buy the DX Engineering brand or the Amphenol brand. You can trust those that they're going to be the right size and they're not going to be made from junk. And of course, uh, this is the end of RG400, which is a double shielded cable that we uh, we have here at DX Engineering. And this is a 50 ohm cable, double shielded, and the dielectric is Teflon. So it will take a lot of power, even though it's small in size. And uh, this is how uh, the cable ends are prepared at DX Engineering. Uh, when you get custom cables or you buy pre-made cables from us, has uh, this nice heat shrink that goes over the back of the connector. And uh, of course, that is that is flooded with glue. So it is really a very good uh, weatherized uh, end. But of course, once you, if you have this outside, you're gonna wanna use vapor wrap and tape around this. And uh, one of the future weekend specials, we'll talk more about how I weatherize connectors outside. And uh, so the other thing <clears throat> I've got a question on was I kept mentioning uh, as we were building the Yaggies, the FPC, what is that? That's the feed point connector. And uh, here's the FPC. And what this is, here's, here's your SO239 and two leads coming out. And we'll talk about that more here in a minute. And I want to say uh, good afternoon to our friend Brad. WF7T from Nashville. Brad, good to have you on. Brad has been an operator here at K3LR. And uh, also, uh, let's see, Herm, he says, uh, I'm wa waiting for my Geochron. It shipped yesterday uh, to pair with a new 55 inch uh, TV. So that's great, Herm, you're gonna love it. And I'm sure you're gonna get it pretty quick. So uh, great to, uh, you're, you're gonna love the uh, Geochron. And from the Balearic Islands, uh, we got a 73 from Balearic Islands. And uh, let's see, um, Mikkel says, uh, make sure to work Sugar Julia 2 whiskey this weekend 
in the Scandinavian Activity Contest on CW. So great to uh, have you on, uh, Mikkel. And uh, Papa Yankee 2 Bravo Norway. And from uh, Barbados, it's 8 Papa 6 Echo Tango. And from Belgium, Oscar Tango 5 Zulu and Dino. Uh, Kilo Lima 0 Sierra. And uh, let's see, 9 Mike 6 Kilo Oscar Mike from over in Malaysia. And our friend Andy 2 Echo 0 Radio Echo Echo from England. And so this is a, a potted uh, system. And you get two wires that comes out of it. And uh, one goes to the uh, shield and one goes to the center conductor. It's very obvious. And they're all soldered inside. So this is a great way to feed antennas. It's very strong. Uh, this is a silver plated uh, UHF female connector. We also have them in uh, 716 DIN and N connectors as well. But it, this is the DX Engineering FPC, DXE FPC. Another helpful uh, deal, let's see if, um, if I can share my screen here. I want to show you um, uh, what we were talking about last week. And uh, let's see if this is going to work. Hopefully, you're able to see my screen. Uh, let's go back here and do the share. Share screen. Okay, share. And then over here. And uh, here's uh, the DXE 400 Max cable. And um, so we're going to click on documentation and then uh, coax selection chart. And here's the coax selection chart. Um, and uh, this tells you all about loss, efficiency, power rating for all of our coax cables. And uh, here's the LMR line of, of cables as well. And uh, Parky keeps this updated. But if you have, have questions about coax cable, there's the two shields on the DXE 400 Max that you have to use the crimp connector on. And of course, uh, the same thing holds true for the LMR 400, LMR 600, uh, 240, all have two shields, and you have to use crimp on connectors. That's what the manufacturer says to do. So um, wanted to uh, go over that with everybody. And one of the things that I've done is, uh, uh, with Parky's help, is I made a little book about all the neat uh, documents that are on the DX Engineering website. So here's here's all the element clamps. Uh, here's the, the band clamps with studs. And you can see all the sizing information, and it makes it real easy from a reference standpoint. If you want to, uh, you know, know something about the various BTV verticals, here's uh, replacement parts for the BTV, etc. So lots of great documentation on the website, and uh, it's all free for downloading. So um, it uh, can answer a lot of your questions. And uh, so let's see here. Who, who else do we have? We have uh, from Venezuela, Yankee Victor 5, Gulf Papa Alpha, and uh, Terry in Alabama, K4 Tango Delta Sierra. And uh, let's see. We have our friend uh, Kilo Bravo 8 November. He says, Gates AM power on 160. And, uh, yeah, that's coming soon. <laughs> coming soon, Jimmy. And... Um, Let's see, Angel from down at uh, Arecibo. Hi, Tim, waiting to see how you weatherize connectors at K3LR. Uh, Rob, Cal, and Safe say hi. I guess the, the, the gang, all the gangs on 20 meters right now. <laughs> and very cool. Angel got uh, three of our uh, chromoly masks this week. Uh, he actually ordered them on Friday, and I think they were delivered yesterday. That's pretty good service from Ohio all the way down getting onto the island and uh, delivered there uh, to Angel, WP3R. So, Angel, can't wait to hear what you're going to put up on uh, your new mast, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be great. And uh, tell us all about it. And let's see, we've got Whiskey 8 Tango Alpha Bravo. And uh, Chris uh, N5KM says, what method do you use to secure coax to a tower leg? Well, uh, we use 88 tape here. Uh, and then, uh, so I put down some 88 tape, then we put some monofilament tape on top of that, and then more 88 tape. But we don't pull it real, real tight, because you don't want to squeeze the coax. We're just holding it. So, um, but uh, we, uh, I'll uh, actually shoot some video of that, hopefully next week, and uh, we'll have that for you. 
Kilo Charlie 7 Hotel Echo X-Ray. And uh, Herm says, do you make or sell pre-made uh, cable that is at various lengths? And yes, just go to the dxengineering.com website and you'll see the whole collection of the pre-made cables, all the popular sizes. And then there's a cable builder there. If you, if you don't see what you want, uh, you can make your own and you can put uh, different connectors on it and as long or as short as you want. And uh, here's our friend Paul Ryan, AB8FR, and from uh, Houston, Texas, uh, Kilo India 5 Hotel Whiskey Norway. Oh, from State College, one of my favorite places, Kilo 3 India Whiskey India. Dean, nice to see you. And uh, Chow, India Uniform 3 Bravo Tango Yankee from Italy, from Whiskey 4 November Golf United. And uh, Steve says, this is absolutely great when you do these videos, that's Victor Echo 2, Charlie, Yankee, Victor. And Steve, thanks so much for uh, stopping by. And uh, let's see, what else do we have here? One of the most useful things uh, that we sell at DX Engineering is known as the BMN1. And this is a, a shunt coil that can be used to help you match uh, verticals. And uh, so take a look at the BMN1. Uh, this is a very handy device for matching verticals that are not right at 50 ohms. And speaking of uh, verticals, let's let's go to, while we're thinking about it, I think a really cool uh, post was put up on, um, on On All Bands today. And uh, I want to go there and uh, see if we can get to On All Bands, On All Bands bands.com and see if this there's a really cool article on verticals that is uh, supposed to go up today um, I don't know I don't I don't see it right off the top it may be uh, posted um, later on uh, today but take a look at on all bands there's all kinds of uh, things here to help you have uh, more fun building antennas, and uh, they, we have great blog writers. Um, here's Wayne and Sean, KX9X is one of our bloggers, and Mark, KMSH, also a blogger. And the article that uh, should be up here shortly is from November Charlie 7 Bravo, uh, who is sometimes uh, in the chat room as well, but uh, lots of great information on on all bands. Dot com and so let's uh, let's go back to there and uh, let's see who else do we have on here and uh, oh it's Scotty Meyer kg 9 z one of the DX engineering sales guys and uh, Scotty's on uh, he's off today he's on vacation but he's tuned in watching us have fun here on uh, Facebook and on YouTube and uh, Dean says will a face mask properly bonded to my face, ground COVID away from my body. I don't know about that. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to go there. And uh, Keith, November Uniform 6 Uniform from California. And uh, let's see, Danny saying hello for Whiskey 6 Papa Charlie. Mark Allen. And uh, Danny, please tell Mark I said hello. Uh, Mark is, uh, is a truly a great guy. And uh, our... our uh, Oh, it's Melanie. Speaking of people who are off today, that's uh, K KSU. Melanie uh, helps us out at DX Engineering, doing a whole bunch of different stuff. And uh, so, Mel, good to have you on. Here's another one of my uh, favorite things at the DXEngineering.com candy store. This is two-inch copper strap. And uh, I, <clears throat> I'm going to show you some videos next week of how I use this outside. And also, we use it in the shack. But this... This is really low loss ways to ground things, whether they be to your uh, DX engineering radial plate. Um, I also use this for connecting four square uh, antennas together. I uh, use it uh, for connecting our ground buses down to the ground rods, but very low loss, two inches wide, and it's available in popular lengths. And uh, we have to do some, uh, some ground system repairs, you know, uh, grass cutting over the summer, caught a few straps, 
So we'll be doing some silver soldering next week and we'll take some videos uh, showing those repairs. And then also another, another thing that is really helpful in the shack is you need to bond all of your equipment to a, a common point. And uh, it, this is talked about in uh, Ward Silver's book, Grounding and Bonding. And if you just Google grounding and bonding, you'll see that book. And we, we stock it here at DX Engineering. But this is known as tin copper braid. And you don't want to use braid out of uh, cold coax um, because that will deteriorate very fast. This is one inch wide tin copper braid. The tin protects it, so it's not going to corrode. And then, of course, uh, it's soldered right here on the ends. And then uh, heat shrink. And this is the way to use flexible ground connections in the back of the radios, in the back of the amplifiers. So we use a lot of these here at K3LR to keep everything bonded together. That's very important. And uh, so let's see. We've got uh, Chris, Victor Kilo, 3 Fox, Yankee. And, uh, geez, Chris, it's, it's uh, well, it's, uh, the sun is coming up <laughs> in the eastern part of Australia there. You can see that. So good morning to you. Good Saturday morning to you, Chris. And uh, hope to hear you on the air here in the coming weeks. And WB3 Lima Hotel Delta. And uh, uh, Melanie, uh, tell us uh, what the deal of the week is. Why don't you, why don't you announce what the deal of the week is? Um, I, I'm not sure exactly there was a changeover. We were at, with Tigertronics, but um, I think you might have gone to something else. So uh, put it in the chat and we'll talk about it. And oh, there's Greg. Uh, he's here today, NC7B. So look for Greg's article. on. It'll be posted on On All Bands today, I believe, or over the weekend. He did some really cool stuff with verticals. Um, and uh, it's <laughs> all of the, everybody here at DX Engineering has been talking about Greg's article. So looking forward to seeing that posted. It's, it's going to be really good. And uh, Greg, maybe we'll have you on here to uh, explain how you came up with that. Just a tremendous uh, way to put together uh, vertical uh, ingenuity. Sugar Victor 2, Charlie Lima, Japan from North Greece. And uh, November 8, Tango Uniform Whiskey. He survived Ohio Parks on the Air. And uh, K0 Mike Delta, Scott right up at the Mayo Clinic. He says, thanks for all the antenna building videos. And... Uh, Alfonso says, about the matching coil you just showed to match vertical antennas, it works on HF, monoband, and multiband verticals? Yes, it does. And just uh, just go to the DX Engineering website and put in Biggie MN1, Victor Mike Norway 1, and take a look at the manual. It's really, really good. And Chris says it's 6.15 a.m. where he is. And uh, oh, hello from... Uh, K5 Alpha Radio November and Yankee Victor 5 Golf Papa Alpha. And uh, Mel says it's the Tigertronics sale deal of the week. So she's discounted a bunch of the Tigertronics uh, SKUs. So take a look at that. The uh, deal of the week at DX Engineering. Tigertronics is on sale. And uh, let's see. We're, uh, we're thinking about... Uh, some other improvements we can do here at K3LR uh, before the weather gets bad. So I've got some ideas uh, for that uh, next week. We'll be stringing up the uh, the loops, uh, soon to become a, a DX engineering uh, product. Uh, we take down the loop antennas. Uh, they're 40 foot by 10 foot. We take them down during the summer months so that we can uh, mow the grass. But it's time to get going on 160 and 80. So. Uh, the loops will be going up, and we'll take some videos and share those with everybody. And uh, this weekend, there are a ton of things going on. The Route 66 stuff is going on. So, you know, you get an award if you work all the one-by-ones. Uh, there's six calls. And uh, so that's a great activity that's going on. The 10 gigahertz and up uh, contest is going on. There are four state QSO parties going on this weekend. Uh, the Riddy guys have their uh, their sprint contest this weekend. And uh, just take a look at WA7BNM. If you Google Whiskey Alpha 7 Bravo Norway Mike, you'll get his contest calendar. And it's very well organized. All the rules, everything is there. 
So, um, you know, that's uh, it, it's a great way to spend the weekend. Uh, if you get tired of being outside, get on the radio and have some fun. Let's see. Uh, Dino says uh, the DX Engineering Thunderbolt 160 meter vertical antenna took me from zero to top band DXCC in one year. Wow. And uh, that vertical is not very tall. But, uh, but uh, Dino put it up. He put down ground radials. And that's the secret sauce to making all verticals work is ground radials. And uh, congratulations, Dino. We're glad the DX Engineering could be a part of it. And uh, Jim says, just discovered your program. What a great bet. And uh, Luis says, hello from Paradise Island, Puerto Rico. Kilo Papa 4 Lima Radio. Okay. And uh, Valerio says, uh, CQ Worldwide is coming up. Yep, uh, CQ Worldwide RTTY contest is next weekend. So that's going to be a lot of fun as well. So I hope you had a good time here on the weekend special, the Friday show that we do at 20 Zulu. You can always find out, go to the events area on On All Bands, and it tells you all the various shows that we have for Facebook and YouTube. And then all the, uh, all the shows are uh, archived on YouTube, so you can go back if you miss something. Uh, you can play them. Again, just take a look at the DX Engineering channel on YouTube, and they are uh, they're there, and you can have a lot of fun with that. So that's what we've got for this Friday. I hope to hear you on the air. We'll be on 20 meters and 40 meters tonight, and uh, hopefully conditions will be good, and uh, hope everybody was able to weather the storm uh, with Sally down there in Alabama and Florida and our hearts go out to anybody that's having trouble uh, down there. And of course, out in California and Oregon uh, with the, all of the wildfires, just terrible stuff. So uh, stay safe, stay on the air, and we'll see you next week. 73 from DX Engineering.